welcome to OneTalk. In this video, we'll walk you through how to access and use the OneTalk Administrator Portal. To start, you'll need to sign in or register for your Verizon My Business account. If you haven't set up your My Business account, click on Register for an account, then follow the on-screen instructions to register. My Business gives you one convenient place to manage your OneTalk users and lines. Now that you're signed in, navigate or go to the OneTalk Administrator Portal by selecting Manage, Product Portals, and OneTalk. All right, let's take a closer look at your OneTalk lines. You'll find them summarized for you on the main page of the Administrator Portal. Review each one, making sure you have enough lines for your business, individual employees, and any hunt group, call queue, or automated receptionist features you plan to use. Now, let's make sure you have the correct information for all your end users. We'll start at the I want to menu and select Manage Group Members. From here, you can modify usernames and extensions, plus update any email addresses and caller ID names. Let's start by clicking Edit. Looks like we have a misspelling for the username. Let's fix that and also confirm that we have the correct email address on file so the end user can receive an authorization pin to set up the OneTalk app. Now, let's enter an extension for this user. It can be any four-digit number. Lastly, we'll assign a calling ID name, which will be displayed when calling internally. While we're on the Manage Group Members page, we can also go to a user's devices and settings to make updates. Simply click on the phone number here, and that takes you to the Manage Lines page. Now, click on the Associated Devices tab. We see the types of devices connected with the user's OneTalk phone number. So if we go to the desk phone and click View More, we can modify information such as the user's 911 address. Next, we'll click on the User Features tab to select, update, or remove all of the features available to that end user. For example, if we want to enable voicemail to email, we simply toggle the switch on and make a modification to the email address for the user. Hit Submit, and now voicemail to email is set up and configured for that end user. You can also modify features for all your users at once. Go to the I want to menu on the home page and select Manage Features. If we explore the Business Features tab, we see features that are common across all of your users, such as calling line ID delivery. Or under User Features, we see the features that we can modify for individual lines in your group. So there you have it, a quick rundown of your OneTalk lines and some of the basic settings available to you in the OneTalk Administrator Portal. Your users are now ready to use OneTalk.